This is part 10 of L.A. Noir of my playthrough. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Please do one of the three. It would mean a lot. And here we go. I got the jitters again. Do you have the address? It's been all over, Chief. On DL. South Temple Street. Belmont and Glendale. I could just discover swanning around in those. Hey, stay quiet. We get a new car? I think his name is Felt. I'd rather you just read about him in the newspaper. Oh, God. One of these. Finally got Bukowski driving for me, and now I gotta do it myself. There's 95 cars? Oh, my God. What happened to Rose? Parker wants to see Scott. Word is, it's either gonna be him or Thad Jr. So they're both clearing the deck. Where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, though. I didn't ask for you, and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if you can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. Are we any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, and we got nothing. I don't think this has anything to do with it. No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. This will be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, it's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Phelps! <clears throat> Oh shit, I see him up there too. I'll do it! So help me God, I'll jump! You need to get up there. Let me do the talking, detective. I know a ton of this psychology stuff. You take the back alley and find a way up there. Come on, Phelps, let's get moving. Are you jumping? Make sure you warn me before you do. I will! Wait, what? Ain't no way this old <laughs> this big old ass man climbing up in front of me. Hmm. <clears throat> what you wanted I can't do it I just I'll come quietly just I need some help please you gotta get me some help you're a danger to yourself and to others <clears throat> first of all that cop I don't know if he was good at psychology Examiner Galloway, you could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. Get used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. All right, got some blood, some footsteps. That might be the officers. Oh. Well, that's going to need to get blurred. Uh, all right. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. Uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, Detective. No one's disturbed the bodies? 
No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker in the corner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men size eights. Pinker lifted impressions for me to compare back at the lab. The victim's bag? Looks brand new. Can't be the one used on the body. The globe. It's like some kind of puzzle or parlor game. Why steal a table lighter? All of that to get a lighter? Man, I thought I was going to get some like sick like clue for like a serial killer or something. Circumstantial. No good to me. Optimistic, Cole. Cause of death? It could be the head injuries. It's be a lot of. I might just have to cut it all this out. I don't know if I want to blur all this. I'll, I'll know for sure in an hour. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Damn, that's a big. Oh my God. I'll have more details after the autopsy. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed, a ring most likely. I assume it was taken post-mortem. Interesting. What does the writing on the victim mean? BD, like Dahlia, Tex. Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests from the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? A man could die of thirst on a case like this. So, Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work like that, all right? A case will come and find you. You can't make it something it ain't, understand? So you don't think the werewolf has continued to operate in the Los Angeles area? No chance. We would have found him. KGB on the Lenny Century and a, a citizen reports a man with a gun on Grand between 4th and 5th. Any Century in a... <clears throat> Damn. Please, you got to call for help. He doesn't look real good. Quick, what happened? Some punk held up my stand. This guy tried to help and got a bullet for his trouble. He got hit and hightailed it through the parking lot. Get going. For real. Siren on. Gas station, that was ballsy. Oh, don't start shooting. You come any closer, I'll pull the trigger. Put the weapon down now. What the hell? What are you waiting for, Phelps? Up and at him.
getting kind of good with that. You know what I'm saying? Car 11K calling KGPL. Shots fired. Suspect is down. We're code four, but I need an ambulance on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. 11K, Roger on your ambulance. All units, be advised the suspect is down on Grand between 4th and 5th Streets. Repeat, the suspect is down. Code four. Lay down, buddy. What place? Hey, honey, what time do you get off? Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to him? I would. He sits at the back of the club, wears a hibiscus. You can't miss him. Is there anything else? Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. I'm a little parched. Give me three fingers of rye. A waitress. Can I have another spoon? Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the week. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Oh, Christ. You going to pay for that? Sure, I know her. She and I and... Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Yeah, sure, great. she's a regular. Yeah, Selena was a lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Selene already had quite a head start. Had she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. You know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Do they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Ooh. This could be a great help, sir. Thank you. What like, what like a good Samaritan thing to do, but also like what like a creepy thing. I mean, unless he found the guy suspicious from the from the jump. Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring, on the large side. Larger than life, like Celine herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was uh, just before Jacob. Is that not true, though? Was it value? Could it be motive for her murder? Who could say these days? I think it had more or he did it while she was with Jacob. Maybe that's how I misread it. That's my me. God damn it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Celine on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. Put up with a load of shit. Hmm. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. See, doubt or lie. You're lying, McCall. You're covering for Henry. You called him and told him what time she was leaving. You're an asshole. You know that? Yeah. I 
Okay, so he gave me the license plate though. He knew about the jewelry. I don't think that's it. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up, asked him to come pick her up like usual. But he refused. Well, she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColt. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Okay, so I, I had a bit of, like, redemption. Because I hit lie, and then it asked me to pick a part for the case. And I, like, backed up, and then I changed the doubt, so. Let's get out of here. Calling all cars. Citizen reports. Officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. Got to respond. Another one? That alleyway leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's going to have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. Killers are the worst kind of scumbag. Damn, this me this dude's like agile. Bukowski made me do it all myself. This is rare. I don't ever normally get two side missions. You seriously couldn't make that? Are you kidding me? What's the situation? Half a dozen shooters, sir. Cold-blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. What do you mean? Witnesses say they bounced in, aced the guards, and went straight downstairs. Christ knows who they're working for, but whatever's in that vault, they want it bad. Block the goddamn stairs. Detective, take the elevator. All right, I'll wait here. Typical. Don't give them a chance to regroup. Wish me luck. Why couldn't the boys in blue stay up there and you come with me? This is suicide. Oh shit.
tell the tale. There he is! Blast him! Oh god. That's it. I almost blew that. That's, That's embarrassing. Car 11K. Shots fired. Suspects are down. We're code four here, but I need an ambulance at Bank of America. Seventh and Olive. Notify coroner and detective headquarters. Roger on your ambulance 11K. All units code four on the 211 at Bank of America. Go for it. All right. You're driving. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. <clears throat> I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. Side window's been jimmy. Looks like <laughs> <there's a creepy laughs> you said I had to go back, doctor. The fires are kavat. They allow you to front your past you said the house would be empty are you taking the medication i have prescribed you said the house would be empty i heard them screaming the circumstances were unfortunate my colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements you said the house would be empty you're killing me the deaths were unfortunate but you have dealt with death before you said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? Husband, wife, and two young children killed. Wow. Circumstantial. A regular Amelia Earhart for a day. Is that the the is that the ring thing? Tiffany, the rest of this stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. I don't think this is anything. The aviator ones? Seems irrelevant. Bro, move! Size nines. Above average for a lady. Not everything here is going to be run. Apartment. That's important. Jacob are obviously having problems. Speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Everybody's Except drinking this. All day about it, fellas. I get nasty when I'm thirsty. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm going to climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Mm. 
Galloway, homicide, badge number 564. Requesting technical services for a suspected 459. Damn, I like that he actually does stuff. That helps me out. Pretty tired of losing my weekly take to you punks. You ain't gonna last long in a tin shack. Wait, am I done? God damn it, they went down there. Another one? Jeez. Holy shit. And chat. And that train almost smoked me. This is car 11K. Shots fired at South Flower Street, Scott's Garage. It's code four here, but suspect is down. I need an ambulance and coroner. Eleven K Roger on the ambulance and coroner. All units eleven K reports code four on the shooting at four ten South Flower Street, Scott's Garage, Code Four. Alright. Um I've had three street crimes. That's insane. That's gonna complete part ten. Normally I try to leave it to where like the last part of the case opens up the next episode that way you guys are like ooh, i need to find out how it ends but oh, this might be a longer episode i got three of the um street missions or the street crimes along the way and i don't ever get that many so um there's probably a little bit left to do on this quest but i really do hope you guys are enjoying the series part 11 keep an eye out for it keep both eyes out i if you have to i assume most people have to. that's gonna put me in a box i'm gonna stop <laughs>